Good morning, Year 6. It's time for your math starter today. So you've got four questions here. Number one is an addition question with some decimals. I've already lined up the decimals for you. Number two is a multiplication of a fraction by a fraction. Number three is a multiplication of an integer or a whole number by a fraction. And number four is to find 11% of 800. So you might want to pause the video there, Year 6, have a go at solving these four, and then unpause the video and see if you got the questions correct. So we have a look at number one, 36.47 add 3.2. And you can see that I've lined them up. Remember that golden rule of decimals that we talk about, making sure that the decimals points are one on top of another. So we need to make sure that our answer also has that decimal point in, lined up one on top of another, stacked up like a tower. So it's an addition, so we always start over at this side. So if we wish, we can put that in there because there are no hundreds in there if we wish to and we could also we want to put there to plug those gaps we don't have to but it can make the addition a little bit more clear so first of all seven add zero is seven four add two is six six add three is nine three add nothing is three very straightforward one because there's no um exchanging over there and you can see i put the decimal point in there at the start, so they are stacked up one on top of another. 39.67 is your answer there. Moving on to number two, two thirds multiplied by four eighths. When we multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators together and we multiply the denominators together as well. So two times four is eight, and then we've got three times eight, which is 24. If you wrote eight over 24, as an answer, that's great because that's correct. This can be simplified though. Now we could use the method of half and then half and again, but we can have a look. Are there, um, is there a number that goes in that is in the eight times tables and the twenty-four times tables, and it's eight. So in that case, we could divide the numerator and the denominator by eight. Eight divided by eight is one. Twenty-four divided by eight is three. So a third is the answer in its simplest form. If you wrote 8 over 24, that's fine as well. Um, however, one third is the answer in its simplest form. Moving on to number three, seven, a whole number or an integer, multiplied by two fifths, multiplied by a fraction. Now, what we could do at this point, multiply the whole number by the numerator, seven times by two, gets us to 14, and then the denominator stays the same like that. If you put 14 over 5 as your answer, that's great. We're going to simplify it in a moment. Another thing we could have done is we could have turned this in 7 into an improper fraction. Like this, couldn't we? Turn it into 7 over 1, which is exactly the same as 7. And then we could have just done exactly what we did for question 2 with multiplying the numerators and multiplying the denominators as well. We looked at two methods to do this. So we've got 14 over 5. 14 over 5, if you've got that as your answer, fantastic, it's correct. But let's simplify it to put it into a mixed number. How many 5s go into 14? 2, up to 10. And how many left over? 11, 12, 13, 14. There are 4 left over and there are, four, there are 5. It's been split up into 5, so it's 4 fifths. So 2 and 4 fifths, which is identical to 14 over 5. Right, just rub these out. So if we look at number four now, finding 11% of 800. So first of all, what to do here, we need to find what 10% is. So it's the same as dividing by 10. 800 divided by 10 is 80. And then we also need to find 1% because 10 add one is 11. So we need to find 1%, so it gets moved over once more, which means that 1% is eight. And then what we need to do because 10 add 1 equals 11, we need to add 80 and 8, that will tell us what the 11% is. So 11% is 88. And there is the answer for that one, year 6.